Okay, so what we're going to do today is to do a denim pattern. We'll do that over a um, few steps here. First thing I'm going to do is start uh, by opening up a new file. I'm going to make that 900 by 700 pixels. Use a 72 DPI. And I'll go out and... Uh, in this background layer, I'm going to change this color to a blue, kind of denim, blue jean looking color. So I'll go down and change my color. And I'll get a basic blue. I'm just going to eyeball this uh, somewhere like that. It's a basic color. We can adjust it later on a little bit. And uh, what I'm doing is to fill the color with the foreground color. So I'll go in fill and I'll say OK and so we'll get a, a full uh, color of uh, blue over the page. The next thing I'll do is to make a new layer and I'm going to change back to a black and white setup here and uh, I will take that layer and fill it with a basic 50% gray. Okay, so I'll say okay. So that gray covers over the blue there. So what I want to do is go into filter and go down to sketch. And in sketch, I'll go to say halftone pattern. Halftone pattern, we have three basic pattern types circle. Uh, dot and line. What I'm going to do is you use the uh, line pattern, take the contrast down to zero and size down to one. And I'll say OK. So now I have that pattern over the blue. And I'm going to do another filter on top of that and I'll go down to uh, pixelate and to mesotint. As a dent, you can see have so has several different types here. What we're going to do is use the fine dots. That's the pattern that's here. I'll hit OK. And so you see you got this kind of a grainy cloth looking pattern. And it's over that blue, but right now it's gray. So I'm going to go down and uh, duplicate that layer and that pattern. And what I I'll do here is to go to image or edit and then transform while I'm in that top layer that I just made and do a rotate. So once I get my rotate tools, I'm going to hold down uh, sh uh, the shift and the alt key so that I can get good increments, 15 uh, degree increments and go down to 45 degrees. And then I'll enter that. And now I'm going to zoom out a little bit, use control plus uh, minus key and uh, get out some and then I'll go back to transform and I'll scale this time. Now I need to go and hold the shift and the alt key see, because if I don't you see that the scaler doesn't come from the center and that becomes a problem. So what I'm going to do is go back undo that, hold my shift and alt key down at the same time so I'll scale out from the center, pull that out and now I have that pattern, the diagonal pattern over the straight pattern. Now while I'm in the top layer I'm going to change that layer style to soft light and second one, the second layer I will change to multiply. And so what you can see now is that now I can see all three layers. I can see the top, the middle, and the blue be below it. So now I have 
the three patterns I'm going to use the whole my alt key and then go up to the layers menu click on that and go down to merge visible and now I have a composite of those three layers together so I can use this I'll just name this denim and this is a composite of all of the layers together so that as I need it I can just pull that layer out and put it on whatever item I need.